Hi, hi everyone. So today we are making mirror glaze hearts. I've seen people do mirror glaze cakes on YouTube for years and I've always been going to have a go myself. So this is me having a go. Literally the first time I'm doing this. So I've got some heart shaped moulds. I've got my colours at the back and I've got my jug ready to go. We've also got some titanium dioxide mixed up in here and um, I want the inside just to be simple, just nice and bright white. <laughs> So I'm going to fill her up to 1200 mils. I've got two teaspoonfuls of titanium di dioxide in about 100 mils of water, warm water. Now, fragrance. What fragrance shall we use today? I think the best fragrance for this style will be something that doesn't move very fast and something that doesn't discolour. I definitely don't want it to discolour. Um, so I'm going to use um, Love Portion from Grace Fruit which is a dupe or a copy of Love Spell. You'll see I've got black oxide on my fingers and on my moles because I was repotting it into a new pot and I spilt some of it. So I'm going to put 40 mils of fragrance into 1200 mils of batter. And this fragrance soaps beautifully. And I think it's the best version of Love Spell out there. So I'm literally going to fill the moles right to the top, well, right to the brim. I literally don't know how many mils that's going to be or what the weight will be yet until I'm finished. But if we get 12 out of this batter then we know they're going to be 100 grams each. That's without... Um, without the mirror glaze and it's looking like absolutely perfect so I know to do another 1200 mils for the other other 12 Just mix up some TD. And again, 40 mils of fragrance in there.
just want a nice plain background for the mirror glaze. Now this one I'll probably have a bit of black oxide powder on but it doesn't matter because um, they're going to be covered in mirror glaze anyway. And that's it. So I'm going to leave those overnight and on more than tomorrow and then we'll pop the mirror glaze on which is going to be hot pink, hot blue, purple and black. Hopefully it'll turn out nice, but we'll see. We'll see. It could be an absolute disaster. So what we're doing now is I've just melted some melt and pour in uh, to this uh, Pyrex jug. It's just melted in the microwave. Two and a half minutes. It's a quarter of a litre or half a pint. All microwaves seem to be different, uh, so try just a minute at a time if you've never done it before. Now we've got some um, silver mica here from TBK Trading. It's the darker one. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put it in the description box below for you. I wish I'd bought the light, but I bought the dark and. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit in there, a quarter of a teaspoonful, into the mixture and give it a stir. It does make a lovely silver actually. But I've got that one. I'll get a lighter one later on sometime. Um, I'm just going to give, you see we've got some bubbles in there. I'm just going to give that a spray with some rubbing alcohol. Just give it another gentle stir. And then again, I know I said all the promises I've made to you, I'm going to do them this year. And this is one of the promises, is that I'll show you how to make a silicon mould. It's been done many times on YouTube. Uh, but I made this one, but we're in 2019 now. Probably in 2013 maybe. It's lasted all that time. And even though it's got splits in it, it doesn't matter because the silicon still sits together. It's still usable. And the other promises that I've made to all those people who sent sent me emails, um, and if I promised that I would do something in the new year, then I am going to do it. Uh, one of them, literally hundreds of people have asked, um, so I am going to do that for you. And I'm, I will start it very soon. Dare I even say I'll do it in February? <laughs> or start it in February? I don't sound like myself today, because... I've had a, I had the flu, which is why we haven't had any videos. I had that for at least three weeks, and I felt pretty miserable. Um, that started to clear up, and Declan went back to work after Christmas, and then he caught a chest infection uh, last week, so I have ended up getting that this week. But the good thing is, I don't feel ill. Um, with it at all. 
So I wondered if you've made any New Year's resolutions. I'm not really one for making New Year's resolutions, uh, but I've definitely made at least one this year. And what it is, is just to be nicer. Try to be nicer to everybody, um, especially those closest to us. Uh, it's very fashionable these days to be horrible to people and be, they call it being real but to me being re real is being who you are not saying you might have a, a not very nice thought and then if you say that to someone you probably and I would regret it because I probably said it and I didn't even mean it um, so while a lot of the world is going in one direction I'm going to try to be nicer if that's possible I'm only joking none of us are perfect so that's the hearts there pod they're going to be a decoration for the top so what's your new year's resolution let me know in the comments below. Of course you don't have to share if you don't want to. Just get all of these out of the mould and see how easy then they unmould as well. This was blue, this uh, this silicon, but it's faded over the years. So what what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn over the all of them. Because it's just kind of dull grey. Um, it is pearly though. It's nice. And these are going to go on the hearts once I've uh, done the mirror glaze. Because obviously Valentine's Day is coming up. So I'm just going to give those a spray. Doesn't need too much on there with rubbing alcohol. And then we're going to take... Um, our silver glitter. <laughs> Where is it? I know I've got one. I don't use it very often though. Gotta be silver, I'm not doing any other colour. Right, because I can't find it. It's got to be here. It wouldn't be anywhere else. sprinkle the silver glitter over the top like this. I know it seems like I'm wasting a lot of it but 
I'll because the worktop's clean, I'll scrape it off the worktop and back into this this jug. So there we are, that's our decoration hearts ready for the top of the mirror glaze hearts. So for this part you're going to need some um, cooling racks, cooling trays. They are cheap as chips if you get them from places like Home Bargains, b and uh, wherever, uh, they're dead cheap. Um, if you haven't got any, I'm sure you'll have a tray in your cooker uh, that you can use. Or, failing that, what you can actually do is take your soap out and you could put it on there like that and do it that way if uh, you haven't got a tray. But luckily, because I've got a tray, or a few trays I'm actually really lucky because um, these trays I use, used to use them for my cupcake bath bombs but I haven't made those probably in five years um, and these racks I've got about 20 of them um, they sat on a shelf in the sitting room all those years uh, and, and like I said before you never know never throw anything out because you never know when you're going to need it I don't mean like hoarding household stuff but as far as your soaping goes I never thought I would ever need these uh, but I need them today If you just leave them in the mould, leave your soaps in the mould until you're ready to use them and they'll still be slightly soft on the outside and that, that'll help your soap that you're going to mirror glaze onto them, it'll help them stick. I'll still give them a spray with rubbing alcohol. It'll still work even if you don't do that, so. <clears throat> I'm so croaky at the moment. It's weird, like, I've, I haven't really ailed anything in my life until I hit 50. And I feel like I'm on a downward spiral. But hopefully not. I'm not ready to go kaput just yet. So of course you're okay to touch your soap at this point because it has gone through its saponification process. actually a little bit worried to attempt this simply because I've never done it before. I don't know if anyone's done it. I'm sure someone will have done it with soap out there. Right, so I'm going to need um, 
need four jugs actually. So I think I'll have 400 mils of each colour. Let's go with that. I hope it'll be enough. Do something else as well before I did this. <clears throat> I'm going to scrape it back into my pan because I need to put the fragrance in. in the batter when it's in the pan will give perfectly even distribution of the fragrance so hopefully um, the speed that the soap sets up should be the same although the colours can actually have an effect on that as well as you know if you watch my videos So that's the Love Potion fragrance again. There's my silver. There it is. It was hiding behind the Love Potion. I knew it had to be there. Right, let's just mix that in. So I'm actually doing 500 mils of each. I don't know whether to just do three colours. just should be so easy to do with this. <clears throat> so with black, purple, blue and hot pink. So one of the jugs I've actually just put 350 in this one. So I'm going to put the black in there. This is the violet from um, Mineral Makeup Ingredients. This is the hot pink 
from Mineral Makeup Ingredients. Again, colours in the description box below. Links to the colours, should I say. And this one is, I think it's Neon Blue from TBK Trading. And I've put a heap teaspoonful of each one in there. I'm just going to wash my hands. And get some gloves on, but it's difficult to get the gloves on when your hands are wet. because it moves so slowly you don't have to rush it so I'm going to start off mixing the pink one first So I don't know which to pour in which, I guess. Um, let's go with the blue. So we'll pour some pink in there. And then actually spoon some on the top. Spoon the purple on. And then sort of drizzle the black over the top. Oh, I hope this works. I'm scared. So let's start over here. I mean, they do look beautiful. I just don't know which way to pour it in a circle or lines or oh how gorgeous is that but you probably can't see it very well that's better so let's go with the next one That is so pretty. I guess the hard part is going to be knowing if you've got all of the soap covered. <gasps> oh, I like it in lines. Oh, that is nice.
they are so cute. Now, I think what we'll also do, because this is a cold process version, I might do a melt and pour version onto cold process. Like make cold, some shape in a cold, pro, in cold process and then do the mirror glaze. Um, oh, they are so good. Oh, I wish you were here and you could see them in person. So obviously there's going to be a lot of soap left over on the worktop. But we will find a use for that. We'll be able to scrape it up and just chop it up and make it into shreds for another soap. I've got planned. I'm so, so happy. So happy with that. And there we go. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's take this off and take a look. I hope you like them as much as I do. Absolutely stunning. So we're not finished yet because we're going to pop those heart, silver hearts on there now. Okay, so, oops, I've just noticed a little bit that's missed here. Any more? Yes. Oh gosh, there's quite a few bits actually. I hope that's it. There's some on the sides there, look. Yes, it does seem a lot of waste, but we can always use what is left over. 
so now I will we'll pop on those hearts I don't know whether to pop one or two on and I don't want to you know we still want to see the pattern don't we I did make some balls here I wonder if they'll be better Yeah, I think the balls will work better, won't they? Just pop one there on each. So I've just moved us into the kitchen here. Um, <clears throat> because obviously there's a lot of dribble on the table. And I'm just holding the camera by hand, which is unusual. But hopefully it will give you a better view. She says, a better view of what I'm doing. You know, I, I saw a comment on another soap maker's video. On who The person that wrote it, I'm sure they probably wouldn't have been, uh, didn't mean it to come across the way that it did. And they said that, um, and I'm paraphrasing, uh, that anyone can make a soap making video um, and I'm not saying anybody can't it's it's actually not about that but that comment just reminded me of a few years ago not too long ago where people were desperate for soap making videos because there was literally only one or two people soap queen and um, Soap Queen and Soap in 101 that made videos on how to actually make soap. Uh, so it wasn't common at all. And even a lot of soap makers that are on YouTube making those videos, um, they would have been very happy to see soap making videos. I mean, I was, I loved it. I still do. Um, and I just thought, like, it shows how we can all take things for granted because there are so many soap making videos out there. It just makes me wonder where all this is going to go. Um, and I know that's just one person that wrote that, but I don't know what they'll, you know, now that it's obviously boring. <laughs> To watch it, any old soap making video, um, it is valued by so many people. Um, and I hope you and still enjoy watching mine. I'm so grateful, I'm glad I came back because it really has given me a new lease of life for making soap. I'm really, really enjoying it again, and I did get a little bored with it. Um, <clears throat> and not being around, I don't think I made regular videos probably for five years. I did make videos in that time, but not too many of them. And I'm thoroughly enjoying doing it again. So what I'm doing here is I'm just sprinkling a tiny little bit of glitter onto the corner. Of each soap again I don't want to spoil it by putting too much on because we really want to see that pattern showing up Don't forget to put your um, New Year's resolutions in the comments below so I can read them all. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. Um, I guess the video isn't finished yet because these are wet soaps and you will want to see what they look like dry. Hopefully they'll not look too different. Um, so we'll do that right now.
Okay, again, the sun's shining in. Um, so we're just ready to um, tr take these off and trim them up because they're a little obviously bit untidy on the bottom. I'm going to try this first. Yeah, that works fine. I'm just going to try the knife. that works fine as well actually I think I like the knife better I like the knife better because it um, it's flat where with the potato peeler it just makes a, a slanted edge and I don't want that So you can see, obviously they're a bit, um, now they're not wet, they look a little bit different, uh, but they still look lovely. And if you want to make them look even better, then you can just give them a spray with some rubbing alcohol. It brings all the colour back up. Look at that. Beautiful. So I think I can say this is a success. And we'll have a go sometime at doing some with Melt and Paw. Um, but it probably won't be straight away because I've got a lot of other things to make. got a custom wholesale order where a customer has picked out a lot of my old products um, for me to make so that will be quite interesting to remake uh, products that I haven't made for like seven years I love the colour combination of this. There you go. So I won't bore you with the trimming of every sing single one of these. I don't know, some people might be finding it therapeutic. I might as well do them all because there's only 24 altogether. That's just simply because I only have four of my heart shaped moulds, silicon moulds, so 24 is the most I can make in any one go. I hate this sun. I love sun, but I hate that it shines in here at this time of day. It's round about midday and in the winter the sun's low and then it just starts to get dark so I mean great for the house because um, it is a south facing house so the sun's shining in all the time on the morning the sitting room gets all the sun because that the window is well, there's three windows in there. Two of them are east facing. 
so that side gets the sun in the morning and then the kitchen and my soap kitchen which are both facing south they get the sun in an afternoon look at that one it's so pretty isn't it The only problem with using black is the washing up. Right. Here we have our beautiful Miraglaze heart. Turned out perfect the first time I made it, which is very unusual. Um, I hope you love them, I hope you'll make them because um, of course I do show everyone how to do everything so I don't mind if you copy these days I mean years ago I didn't really like it but I don't mind at all um, so just enjoy, show me what you've done um, if you do any videos let me know and have a great day everyone thanks so much for watching um, and I'll see you all again very very soon thanks for your support don't forget to subscribe and comment also please follow our Instagram page links in the description box below uh, if you subscribe click the, click the notifications bell uh, which shows up after you've clicked the subscribe button I think so thanks for watching